Welcome back to Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a garbage bag CDC sulfur. See it's got some nice swept back wings like it's uh, just emerged. Still waiting to dry. The CDC is going to keep this nice and low in the film. It's got a nice wood duck uh, flank for tail. Nice cream, yellowish cream uh, hackle on there. CDC hackle on there. The hook I have in the vise, this is a, I believe it's a Timco. It is a size 16, 3 extra long curve shank uh, hook. But we're not going to use the whole thing as you saw on the fly. We're only going to use... Uh, the flat part coming up to the point of the hook. We might get a little bit further than that, but we're not going to go down around the bend of the hook. We're going to attach our thread, keep our thread held at that 45 degree angle, and you can rapidly get to the rear and have the turns pretty much touching. I'm going to take a wood duck flank. This one has some bars on there. I'm not going to use them, but these side ones are good. Doesn't really matter that they're uh, they're not as stiff as the barred ones. I'm just going to take I don't know three or four or four or five. Doesn't really matter. I don't think the fish are counting the tails. And we're going to make those tails, uh, just so you can see them, we're going to make them about the length of the shank, just so they, that they'll be visible. Otherwise, they'll get lost in the CDC. Maybe pull them a little bit shorter. There we go. Take a few wraps going forward. And you can just pull them off. Now I'm going to use sulfur orange dubbing because the sulfurs on the stream I fish most are pretty pretty orange color, but you can match it to whatever color the sulfurs are on your stream. Make a nice tight little noodle there. Got a nice skinny body. Need just a little bit more. When you go to dub this, you just want very little bit. Like it should float in the air if you let it go. That's how much dubbing you should use at a time. It's like you barely noted noted it's even in your fingers. I'm using cream thread, and this is a uh, 70 ot, 70 denier, and we come up about two thirds of the way, maybe a little bit further there. Now I'm going to take the tan grocery bag once again, and I have a piece that is about. 3 eighths of an inch wide going to take this and you have this don't worry you get a lot of these grocery bags so you don't have to worry about waste I'm going to take them and I'm going to pull them a little bit and then I'm going to twist them like a bow tie and we're going to tie them on So they're going to come back just a little bit. I went just a speck too far with that uh, dubbing. Go up. Now I'm going to pull this back and then wrap over that. And we've got them together there. Going to take my 
scissors now. First, I'm going to give it a cut this way. Just to kind of round them. Then I'm going to cut them down this direction. Let me grab, there we go. Might be a little bit fat. Just trim them a little bit more. Round them off a bit. Remember, this is uh, going to be like it just hatched or stuck in the film. So you're, it's just like wing buds unfolding in back. Now I'm going to take that. This is a yellow CDC feather. Very light yellow. I prefer, I like cream, a cream color, a very light tan for the sulfurs. But this one, this, this very light yellow is also good. It's a very select CDC feather. It has a very skinny stem. Go ahead and trim that off. Put my aqua pliers on there and we're going to give this a few wraps. Pull the hackle towards the rear. Trying to keep the hackle away from the eye. That's why you keep pulling it towards the rear. I'm going to give it one more wrap. Bring that up. Kind of wiggle that thread through when you go to tie it down because you could get catch a clump. You'll have a bigger clump on one spot than another. Secure that with a few wraps. We're going to trim that away. Trim it nice and tight. You could use the method with the CDC in the block and your clip. Now we're going to pull everything back and we're going to form the head. Take our whip finish. And you can adjust this to whatever size is coming off at the time. This would actually be, I would say, about a 14 on a size 16 hook. Take a little bit of the head cement, clean the brush off good. And just get a little bit on there. You don't have to even go all the way around. And here it is, the Garbage Bag CDC Sulfur. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my video.